Today we're going to show the setting up of the 6 meter Yagi. We're going to do a two element 6 meter Yagi and we're just outside of Rocky Mountain National Park, outside of uh, Estes Park, Colorado. And just finished with the ARRL convention here, um, the Rocky Mountain Convention. The 6 meter Yagi conversion kit consists of two IT adapters, two IT collars, one Yagi mast adapter, and one stud that goes between the Versity and the end of the antenna boom. So let's get started. Using a small adapter, 3 8 24 thread on the top. We put that directly on top of our mast on the half inch pipe threads and just screw it down tight. Next we have what we call our IT adapter and that just sits right on top and we have one of the, the knobs from the rotating arm kit and that's going to go directly on top of that. Tighten it down. Next thing we're going to do is, is um, create the boom. It's just two standard 22 inch antenna arms from the buddy pool. So we'll screw those on to create the boom. Okay. On the end of each of the antenna arms, I've got a, uh, a small collar. It's called our IT collar. And this has pins, and the pins are going to mate up with the Versity on one side, on the driven side, and they're going to mate up with another IT collar on the reflector side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the driven side of the Yagi. We're going to use the Versity to do this, and off the top insert on the, uh, where the blue knob is located, we're just going to place one stud, 3H24 stud, down to the stop on the panel nut. Place that into the end of the antenna arm. And then we'll line it up with this IT collar. Place the pins in. And make sure this is this is perfectly horizontal. Now I'm going to tighten this screw with a hex wrench. And this is going to prevent this element from windmilling. now it's locked into place. Okay, now I'm going to place the IT adapter onto the IT collar and this will be on the reflector side of the Yagi. And I'll use again one of the knobs from the rotating arm kit just to lock this into place. Now once it looks like it's horizontal, and this will be easier to do once I put the, the telescopic whips on here. And then I'll go ahead and tighten this IT collar onto the antenna arm so it won't move. Okay, now we'll go back to the driven side and we'll place the telesco telescopic whips into the Versity. And on the driven side, we want out four and a half sections. What I typically do is take the whip out all six sections. And I count to make sure I got six out, and then I'll back off to four and a half. So that's out six. Push the last one in, that's five. Take about halfway. That's four and a half. And I'll do that same thing on the other side here. Out the full six sections. Pull in the last section, take about half of that to the reflector side, screw the whips into place, reflector's slightly longer, it's five sections out, you know, pull the whip out all the way, four, five, six, push in the last section, now I've got five out. Same thing on the other side, out six sections, push 
push the last section in. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we're ready to hook up the coax. Okay, next we'll hook up our coax and we'll just feed the Versity as we normally would with the red lead into the red side, black lead into the black side. And I'll take that Velcro strap and use that as strain relief here. Actually, just to hold this, this cable into place. Okay, we got the six meter two element Yagi ready to go here and I'm just gonna raise it up on the mast. We're using our shorter mast today. And we're up on a little hilltop, so that'll give us some advantage. Now normally I'll, I'll guide this at this point. And if I don't have some stakes down below or something heavy, then I'll use our uh, parachute cord and our guying kit. We do have a little bit of wind today and I just want to make sure that this thing doesn't fall over before we get it hooked up and uh, start making some contacts.